Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Betsy and today we are going to be curing boredom or hopefully. Um, I'm gonna be giving you 50 things to do when you're bored. Uh, recently we've been in a quarantine state and because of the pandemic and so um, there's been a good amount of boredom so I made this list of 50 things to do most of it involves being around inside or being outside um, just kind of not going into stores and things so these should be all things that are pretty low in cost and um, enjoying nature or things you can do inside uh, so yeah hopefully you guys get something good out of this and find something that you can do if you're bored let's get into it Okay, so first two items, um, super easy, super simple. Number one, go for a walk. Number two, go for a run. Uh, these are super awesome things to do. Get outside, walk, run, have a goal you're aiming for or not, just enjoy walking or running. And number three and number four also kind of go hand in hand. Number three is bake something and uh, number four, cooking something. This can be, um, again, something new, something you've already done before. Just get in the kitchen, cook something healthy, not healthy. It doesn't matter. Just enjoy the activity of cooking. And number five is read a book. So this is something I love doing and something I do often. Um, it's just super nice, whether it's fiction, nonfiction, doesn't matter. Just pick up a book, find a list of books you wanna read and get going on it. Number six, watch a movie or TV show. This is something we all do probably too often, um, but pick a new series. If you have friends uh, that have recommendations, try out one of their recommendations and uh, give it a go. Number seven is read an educational article about something you're interested in. So this is something that um, every once in a while I'll be listening to a podcast or something will come up and I'm like, I need to look into that more. Um, so if that interests you, just go online, search up an article and just read it. Learn more about that topic that you've been wanting to know a little bit more about. Number eight, do a puzzle. So this is always something that is fun to do with family, friends, or just by yourself. Um, pick up a puzzle, there's like tons on Amazon, and just sit down, do it, or just kind of work your way through it every once in a while, leave it on the table, and just do it when you're bored. Number nine is do a craft or a DIY project. So this is also something that I've been doing often, is like, whether it be going to a thrift store and finding something to kind of upcycle or just rearranging your room, that can be DIY also or crafty things. Um, whatever you wanna do, just do something crafty, DIY. Um, that can be super fun. Pinterest, best friend for that one. Number 10, this one's not too exciting, but clean your room. Um, this is something we all have to do and we all don't wanna do it sometimes, uh, but Deep, give it a super deep clean, dust, you know, things that you don't do probably as often as you should, uh, but clean your room. Number 11 is stretch. Uh, this is something that's super good. Keep your muscles loose. Uh, so just get out a yoga mat if you have one. You can look up YouTube videos uh, of stretching. Those are super great. That's what I usually do because I'm not the best at kind of guided stretching, uh, but yeah stretch your body, really good for you. Number 12 is practice a new language. So this is something that is super fun and whether it's a language you learned back in school and you just kind of want to refresh your memory on that language, uh, that's super great. Or if you want to start learning a new language of let's say a country you want to visit after quarantine's over, go for that. Uh, it's super easy. There's awesome apps that are free. Duolingo is one that I really like. Um, there's another called Drops that's really good. So there's tons of apps out there that you can use for free to learn a new language. Number 13, play an instrument. So uh, if you have an instrument in your house, whether it be a piano, I know we have my old flute still. Uh, so the other day I just picked that up and started playing for fun. And so learning an instrument, if you have one around the house is obviously very affordable and just something that's fun to do. Again, YouTube is your friend for that one. 
And number 14, play video games. So if you have a console already or if you have something, uh, I know I'm home in New York right now and so my brothers have loads of video games. So it's just something fun to do, whether you're doing it with friends or family or just by yourself, it's super fun. I've been really into Animal Crossing recently as haven't we all. Um, so that's one thing that I've been enjoying when I'm bored. So number 15 is play a board or a card game. This is also great. There's plenty of card games you can play by yourself or you can force your family to play a board game or card game with you. And again, most people have these lying around their house. So it's also, again, a super simple thing to do. Number 16 is organize your desktop. So uh, my desktop computer gets pretty cluttered throughout the school year. Um, each semester I kind of just drop things there and kind of leave them there. And so it ends up getting pretty cluttered and kind of looks like a mess at the end of the semester. So I love just going through, putting things in the folders that they should be in, throwing things in the trash that don't I don't need anymore. Uh, so it's a really good idea. Just organize that desktop and uh, make it look nice and pretty again. 17 and 18 kind of go hand in hand. So number 17, organize uh, your iPad if you have one. Again, same thing, just kind of organize your apps you have. And number 18, I have organize your iPhone. So go through your apps. There's typically a lot of apps that we just don't use or don't need. So go through, take a look at those, delete the ones you don't need um, and kind of reshuffle them, maybe put them in little folders if you like that. Uh, but yeah, organize your phone and iPad. Again, just organize, organizing your life um, makes you feel more peaceful. So number 19 is learn a TikTok or YouTube dance. Um, so TikTok dances, super short, not very simple for some people. Um, I'm not the best dancer in the world, so uh, they're still challenging for me. But I also love like YouTube has a ton of like beginner dance tutorials of like little dances you can use of like tons of different styles hip hop contemporary little ballet lessons um so that's something i really like doing because it's something that i don't have to worry about um getting down perfectly it's just kind of for fun and it's exercise also Number 20 is meditate. So uh, this is something that is super good. There's so many health benefits to meditation. And this is again, something that there's a lot of apps or YouTube videos that you can use to kind of guide your meditation. And as you get better at meditating, then you can kind of go away from those apps or videos and meditate on your own. Number 21 is try a new food. So this is something that is really great. Go to the grocery store. If you see a vegetable or meat or something that you've just never tried, just pick it out. Try to incorporate that into a dish that you're making. And it just kind of broadens your horizons. Maybe it's something that you tried when you were little and you hated it. Give it another go. See if you like it now. Um, cook it a different way, prepare it differently. And who knows, you may surprise yourself. Number 22, try a new hairstyle. So this obviously aims, well, at anyone, honestly. Girls, guys, you can all try new hairstyles. Um, maybe buy a different hair product on Amazon. That's something that I shouldn't recommend because I buy things on Amazon too often, but um, try a new hairstyle, look up YouTube videos, give it a go. Uh, it's super fun just to play around with something different that you never do and who knows, you may find your new go-to hairstyle. So these next two, again, go hand in hand. 23 and 24 are paint your nails and paint your toenails. Uh, this is something that is super fun to do and just relaxing, have a little spa day. Uh, treat yourself to a nice manicure and pedicure. Um, my dog is whining, sorry. Um, but yeah, treat yourself, get a new nail polish possibly. Um, Marshall's just opened up where I am and so I went and got a new nail color. And so yeah, I will be painting my nails later today. Number 25, do a face mask. Again, more spa day. Um, that can be even a homemade face mask. That's probably what I'm going to do. Um, there's tons of homemade face mask recipes on Pinterest. So even if you don't like own any face masks, just make one yourself. 
honestly, natural products are sometimes the best for your skin. So uh, give it a go, try something natural and see how it goes. Number 26 is journal. This is um, really enjoyable, really kind of gets your thoughts out of your head and puts them on a piece of paper. Uh, so you can find prompts that you can follow or just kind of write about how you're feeling that day, uh, especially now during quarantine. I mean, this is a very strange time that will hopefully never happen again. So write about how you're feeling during this time uh, so you can look back at it in the future and be like, okay, I made it through that. Number 27 is draw something. Uh, I recently have got an, an iPad and so I've been really enjoying using the app Procreate to kind of draw, play around with photos or, you know, thanks for YouTube drawing. Um, playing around with making stickers, even though I don't have a Cricut yet to actually cut them out. I'm hoping I will get that eventually, um, but just kind of drawing stickers that eventually one day I can cut out. Number 28 is take an online fitness class. So again, this is something that we've had to all do this during this time where gyms haven't been open and there's so many great YouTube videos out there that are free and give you a really good workout. Honestly, most of them are like 20 minutes and are tough to get through. Uh, so I've been doing that super great. There's so many out there that you can look into and take an online fitness class. Number 29, listen to a podcast. I love podcasts. Um, I listen to them before bed. I listen to them when I'm driving. I listen to them when I'm making food, baking, cooking, whatever it may be, doing the dishes. Uh, podcasts are awesome and they're, they really get your mind engaged as opposed to music. That's a little bit more just kind of playing in the background. Um, so podcasts, highly recommend. I can link a few below that I've been listening to that are awesome, uplifting, funny, whatever you're in the mood for, um, there's a podcast for you. Number 30 is have a photo shoot or take Instagram pictures. So this is something that's really fun to do, whether it be with friends um, or by yourself, you can use a self timer and honestly get some pretty cool photos. And there's so many different styles of pictures you can try, little hacks that make your photo look cool. Uh, so give some of those a try, take some cool pictures that you can either keep for yourself or share on social media, whatever it may be. It's just a fun activity to kind of occupy your time. Let's you get a little bit dressed up, you know, dolled up, do your makeup, hair, whatever you wanna do, and do a photo shoot. Number 31 is learn random trivia facts. So this is something that I thought of after playing a trivia game with my family and I knew like nothing. Uh, so whether you're going to trivia nights at the local bar or pub or just playing trivia games with family or friends, um, it's fun when you kind of know random things that other people don't. So just search up random trivia facts online and teach yourself a few that you can kind of store in the back of your mind. Number 32 is call a friend or family member. Uh, this is a really fun activity just to catch up with, whether it be uh, something you just haven't talked to in a while or someone that's kind of been on your mind and you're like, hey, let me check in with that person. Um, and it can be for a short time. Usually I have to like plan out my phone calls so I'll like schedule them so that I don't, um, not make time for it. So that's what I would do. recommend if you're busy, schedule them in, text someone, be like, hey, when are you free for a phone call? I'd love to chat and catch up uh, because then you know you're gonna actually get it done. Number 33 is start a Goodreads account to uh, document the books that you've been reading. So Goodreads is an app that writes a lot of books and you can have a public or private profile on there and just list out all the books that you've read, rate them out of five stars, and then write a little review. And most of mine I just kind of keep private just so I can look back and see what I thought about that book because most of the time I put spoilers in to remind myself a little bit about the plot. Um, but yeah, it's really great because then you can look back at all the books you've read. Um, and if you have it for a long time, you can see books you've read five years ago. So it's really cool and uh, just lets you keep track of what you're reading. 
Number 34 is make a YouTube video. This is something that I've recently started doing, um, as you can probably tell, and it's just really fun, entertaining. It um, You can kind of look and see what types of videos you like to watch and kind of mirror your videos off of that a little bit. Uh, like I love watching motivational productivity um, study videos and so that's kind of what I mirrored my channel off of a little because I was like I like to watch this so might as well give it a try making them and I've been really loving it um, you don't even need expensive equipment I literally just film on my phone and sure the quality is not that great but who cares you're just making videos for the fun of it Number 35 is do a crossword or Sudoku. So this is something that engages your brain. Again, lots of online uh, forms of these that you can do and they, some of them take a long time, some of them don't. So it's just something to do. Number 36 is knit or crochet. Uh, this is, again, you can make literally anything and knitting needles or crochet hooks are pretty affordable as well as yarn. Uh, and honestly, a lot of people have them laying around their house that they just don't know about. So um, give it a look, see if you have any, and go ahead and give knitting a try. Number 37, more on the self-care, is do a hair mask. This is something that's really great for whether you do kind of a um, ends hair mask that you kind of use to treat your um, the ends of your hair, split ends, that type of thing, or kind of something that's more for your roots. Again, you can DIY all of these. You don't need to buy them. Um, and just do a hair, hair mask, treat your hair, and add that to your spa day. Number 38 is take a virtual museum tour. So since we've been in quarantine for so long, uh, a lot of museums are making these kind of like online versions or walkthroughs of their museum, which is super cool for places that you might not be able to visit anytime soon, places over across the globe from you. Uh, you can look at what's in that museum and dream about seeing it in person one day. Number 39 is make a budget or organize your finances. This is maybe more for um, older individuals, people who are out in the workforce or in college. It's really great to uh, keep your finances in check and make sure your spending is matching what you're earning. Uh, and even if you feel like you don't have enough money for a budget, it's just good to start that habit and uh, kind of develop it as you grow in your career. Uh, I'm still in school working towards my PhD, so I always feel like I don't have enough money, but I still try to budget it out and kind of plan where it's going each month. And it really sort of keeps me accountable for what I'm spending. Number 40 is go through old photos. This is really fun to do and whether it be you're going through your photos and organizing them or printing ones that you like and want kind of digital or non-digital copies of, it's just really fun, make a scrapbook. Uh, just going through old memories is makes you reminisce and it's, it's a good time. Number 41 is start a dream journal. This is something I've always wanted to do. I dream so much and a lot of the times I want to remember them but I never have a place to write them down. Uh, so start a dream journal, whether it be, I probably will make mine digital and just do it on good notes, have a little thing where I can uh, just keep notes of my dreams and just look back at it and it's kind of funny sometimes to see your dreams and kind of maybe look into what they mean if you're interested in that, but um, just something fun. Number 42 is text an old friend and see how they're doing. Number 43 is find a historical nonfiction book to read. So like I said, I'm a big reader and a lot of times I just read fiction books just because they seem uh, more entertaining, but honestly, history is fascinating and I am definitely on the hunt for some historical nonfiction books to read. Uh, so if you have any recommendations, definitely leave a comment down below because I'm definitely on the hunt for a historical nonfiction book to read because this is just cool to see how people lived in history and um, yeah, people went through crazy times. So it's very cool to read. Number 44 is do some research on your family tree. This is 
who knows, you may find a lot, you may not find a lot, but it's still cool to look into what your great-great-grandparents were doing. Number 45 is revamp a clothing item you no longer wear. Uh, this is great just to upcycle your clothes and whether it be your family members' clothes, like I know I take my brother's sweatshirts and t-shirts way too often and make them my own. Uh, so this is really fun. You honestly don't have to be good at sewing or anything to do this. A lot of times I just end up taking the t-shirt and cropping it a little to make it uh, fit my style. But just again, a fun activity. Number 46 is learn a new word. So it's always great to increase your vocabulary and I don't know, maybe you read a word in a book that you didn't quite know what it meant. Um, just go ahead and look it up and learn it, commit it to memory, and then boom, you've got another word that you know. Number 47 is update your resume or CV. So this is something that I need to do way more often than I actually do. Uh, just always good to give it a refresh, even if you're not thinking about applying for any jobs in the upcoming future, you never know. You may apply for a scholarship randomly or a grant, those type of things where you need that resume or CV up to date. So I just go on your computer. It's usually pretty quick to do and update those things. Number 48 is pretty simple, spend time outside. Uh, whether the weather's nice or not, uh, it's just really great to get some fresh air. Maybe if the weather's awful, just open your window, let some, kind of some fresh air come in, um, or sit outside, read a book, uh, go for a walk, like I said earlier. Uh, just being outside is nice, and I try to make sure I'm outside at least once a day, um, if not more often. Number 49 is watch a TED Talk. There's tons of TED Talks that are fascinating on topics that you, again, want to learn a little bit more about, but just really haven't had the time. So go on, search a topic you're interested in, or just search through uh, the homepage and see kind of what's most recent or uh, things that they recommend. There's so, so many TED Talks from like forever. So you could watch them all day if you really wanted to, but they're super interesting and again, kind of mindless, but you're also learning something new. And last but not least, number 50 is write a letter. Uh, we all love getting mail, especially when it's a nice handwritten letter from a friend or family member. Uh, so just think about someone who is far away that you can't uh, see in person and the letter is just super nice to receive and uh, pretty easy to write and send. So that is it. That is the 50 things to do when you're bored. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, found something that you can do. I'll have the whole list in the description down below so you can kind of go through and um, pick and choose ones that you want to give a try. And yeah, hope this kind of helps with your boredom, whether we're still in quarantine or you're watching this after quarantine. Um, yeah, go do something. Uh, kind of spice up your life a little bit. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, my name's Betsy. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any more recommendations of things that I can do when I'm bored because uh, I'm always looking for new things to try. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.